Hi, I thought I'd try my hand at flower arranging. This is something most anyone ought to be able to do, right? And if I'm good at this, maybe I can sell some of these things. Stop, right there. Hands up, up against the wall. You're under arrest for unlicensed flower arranging. Now this seems ridiculous. There aren't flower arrangement police, are there? Yes, there are. I just don't understand that, how they can shut you down just because you don't have a floral license. Come on. The flower police can shut them down to protect us from what? It's art. Either people buy it or they don't. No, 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 say the flower police and the interior design police. Should the state issue licenses to protect us from bad decorators? Must the state protect us from unlicensed yoga instructors? I don't think it should be the state who decides. Tough. The state has the power to limit what you can do. Monopoly or not, someone needs to regulate the uh, professions. Government must protect us, he said. Do you want unlicensed architects uh, building uh, buildings that will collapse? Those kinds of licensing rules sent this man to jail. They're trying to control it, monopolize it, and it's, it's wrong. I think so. America's supposed to be the land of the free. That's why I came to Texas. But when he got there... I don't understand why the state of Texas want to regulate us. And now, the man who shatters conventional wisdom, John Stossel. It is intuitive to think that government should protect us by licensing professionals, telling them, testing them to make sure they know their stuff. And let me ask you, I mean, who thinks we should license drivers? Or how about manicurists? A few of you. How about parents? Just one. I mean, come on, isn't parenting much more important than <laughs> dangerous than manicurist? I mean, I'm surprised the government doesn't require a license to parent. There are so many less important things they license. I'm amazed they don't make me get a TV host license. And with this seal of approval, government approval, make you more confident watching this TV program? This seems pretty stupid. But then again, I'm not a bureaucrat from the state of Louisiana. Louisiana licenses at least 87 professions, including real estate agents, acupuncturists, assistants, athletic trainers, barbers, manicurists, and, of all things, florists. So let me introduce you to two potential lawbreakers. Meet them before they're fined and shut down. Thank you, sir. Monique Chauvin runs this flower shop. It's been ten and a half years now, so I must be doing something right. Well, the thing is... But neither Monique nor her employee, Leslie Massoni, have a Louisiana florist license. And they are in stock. They've managed to stay in business by hiring someone who has a license, but he's no longer here. Well, he passed away, so I don't have his license anymore. So to stay in business, they must pay to take a florist's exam. It was horrible. Horrible. They've already flunked it once. They say the test demands you know things that customers never ask for. When was the last time you made a double corsage? Just getting to the test is tough. You have to drive right. wherever it's given and take it At there. Your expense. And the questions they say are pointless. Who is the commissioner of agriculture? And the flower questions are bizarre. Is it an asymmetrical arrangement, or is it a um, line arrangement, is it, yeah, or exactly. is it a... What are your line flowers? What do you, do you like know what a line flower is? No idea. Exactly. Well, why would you care? You know, and so... If you see it and you think it looks good, you buy it. I mean, basically, I want something very... And that's how they've stayed in business for years. They do what their customers like. And you can see how... But the uh, test requires knowledge of bizarre contraptions like this cramping machine. Like, we don't ever use it. You never, ever... Well, I'll never use that again as long as I live. And it's dangerous. Get it in there. You know, I've had it for ten and a half years. And cramp it down. You know, it makes a big difference. It's a weapon now. Uh, Look, right, right, but I don't even have that. that. Also, the the test requires them to make a bridal bouquet by cutting off the stems and replacing them with a the wire, something florists rarely do anymore. 
if you had to wire every piece, you, it's not in water, so it's going to die quicker too. You know, this way it stays in water, you trim the ends, you keep it in water until you're ready to bring it to the bride. How can you tell me that I'm not doing something right? You know, it's art. Because that's the law. If they don't get a license... They can close me down. We're joined now by Monique and Leslie, as well as Mike Rome. He's on the board of the Louisiana State Florist Association. So, who are you to tell them they need a license so you'll shut them down? Well, basically, the license came from a law that was passed in 1939, and the idea was to protect the basic knowledge and the, be the basic uh, chain of life of flowers from the grower to the consumer to improve the quality or, and maintain the quality of the, of the product that the, that the consumer buys, because many of these products are not done uh, by visual look. A lot of times, it's, it's you you phone them in or they're done over the nowadays the internet and so forth so we would like to see um, or the what the purpose of the law is is to maintain that the, that the temperature of the coolers is correct that the uh, but so well, what if it isn't well the, the you as a consumer are going to get a lower quality of, of the, the product and I won't get. patronize their business that's correct but there's other reasons why you may or may not patronize them also you know this is to you know, if you're going to hire a plumber to do a plumber's job, you want to make sure that the type of the what you get is the best possible job you could get. You bet. But why would a state licensing test determine that better than the constant trial and error of people going to this florist or not going? Well, it's a basic knowledge test. It, get, it assures that someone in that shop has the understanding of the the, the principles and practices of floral arranging and, and and the mechanics that are involved to give the best product that that is available. And how come no other state feels the need to do this? Well, many other states are, in, are in looking at this. In fact, there's a, na a national program going on called the Certified Florist Program so that they can have some kind of assurance when they call another shop. If there's a certified florist there, then they can get the quality and that they expect. Isn't this just a way for you established florists to keep competition out? Not really. Uh, you know, this is, like I say, we all inherit You're it. nodding. <laughs> I'm not getting yes. plenty. <laughs> you think that's the way they have these rules? Uh, sure. sure. Well, I mean, they don't. They ask you on the test what temperature to keep the cooler. They well, I'd be happy to just to take that the to protect the flowers, so you but do get a good quality. Store? Well, they don't have them. They in don't coolers. have them in coolers. I have one of the biggest coolers in New Orleans for a florist, but. There's, uh, Whole Foods doesn't have a giant cooler to put their flowers in. Uh, my so maybe we better test more people. That's right. I mean, I received oh, no, no. a, the wait, 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 <laughs> I, oh, I just received a beautiful bouquet from an unlicensed florist. But what's a customer to do if you know, they if, buy something from you and it dies or it looks ugly? Well, then you bring uh, it back. I had an instant, a good customer called me right after Valentine's Day, her roses died. I said, thank you for calling me. I'm going to sit. I'll replace the roses. You don't have any control over how long the supplier has them out of the cooler or not processed in water. But your and point then, is that if the customer doesn't like what you sell them, they'll go someplace else. They're not going to come back to me. Right. It's but I'm going to give them as much cu customer right. service as possible. And if it's ugly, they're not going to come back. Let me give you a chance to answer this. Well, there are... Not many times in our life that we that, that we make a per flower purchases, and many times those are, th those involve emotions. And one of the things that we do, we the the, the test does, and it, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with with artistic ability. Uh, the test more or less is mechanics. It's it's that to ensure to ensure that the you understand the proper ways to put arrangement together. And, and, uh, and again, some of these are archaic, but they're, they have been... And it's uh, not true, you're just trying to reduce competition, you no, established I mean, that, guys? That, the, the, the test is not that difficult. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know... Not it's a, not a difficult test, you, it's just that it's very it. old. I could not, I, could, I, I flunked it once. I just started I in the business twice. ten and a half years ago. When we come back, if I show you flower arrangements by licensed florists and unlicensed florists, could you tell which was which? 
We'll test you when we when we return. <laughs>